Hello everyone, my name is MJ Vilches, and yeah, it's Underland Chronicles Fandom Week. And I'm, prob I'm probably starting earlier than the rest of, I mean the others, because I live in a different time zone. But anyways, uh, for me, uh, it's day one of Underland Chronicles Fandom Week, and for this day, uh, the prompt is Darkness. And to be honest with you guys, I have no idea what I'm going to do <laughs> for this day. I've been trying to think of uh, what I'm going to, like, what, I'm, I mean, I know that I'm going to create a comic cinematic. I just don't know what I'm going to be, you know, I'm going to draw, I'm going to draw or whatever. So that's something we're going to have to figure out right now. So as I said, I'm going to create a comic cinematic for day one. And I have to do something from the prompt darkness and yeah first uh before actually drawing i if for those who don't know what tuc or underline chronicles fandom week is i think the perfect way to like define it or uh, show you guys what it is is to go to uh, tuc week uh, tumblr page or tumblr or blog page and let's read uh what they said is tuc what TFC week is so here's the post about Underland Chronicles fandom week and it's said here that TUC week is a fandom driven celebration of the series that we love which is the Underland Chronicles by Suzanne Collins um, each day we will provide a different prompt which is listed below and you can create content around that theme interpreting it in however you choose the community is the engine behind making this event a success and with your participation we will make this a great week so yeah, uh, TUC week probably didn't start yet. Like I said, I live in a different time zone. But yeah, this is TUC week. It's basically it's basically just a, a uh, you know a fan you know community driven like event to just celebrate the underlying chronicles, I guess, and uh, create anything. It doesn't. It's not even limited to like artworks. You can do anything you want based on the prompts that are down here. So. Uh, let's see if I can if I can make that bigger. So yeah, day one is darkness, day two home, day three blood, day four AU day, AU day is like alternate universe. AU stands for alternate universe, I think. Day five is scars, six unity, and we might not be able to do a day seven, because I can't I mean I don't I don't stream on Sundays. But yeah. I'm I'm not even sure if I'm gonna create artworks on all of the days here. But yeah, I think we're, you know, I think, I think we can do something, you know, do a lot. But yeah, that's TUC week. And right now, we're at day one. And we have to do something based on the theme or the prompt darkness. So yeah, hey, Mr. Meme. Uh, it's not really sad because, you know, there's, you guys are here. And, you know, you guys are watching and chatting, so... Now, now, every, uh, there are four concurrent viewers, Mr. Meme, and later on there will be there will some some are probably going to be joining, but for now, it's fine if you know not many of you are here, and that's not sad because you know you guys are awesome. That's awesome enough to show up. So let me just uh, let me prepare my drawing tablet here, and uh, darkness. I guess to start this whole thing, so I need to uh, think up of a, of a, I need to think up of a, of an artwork based on a prompt darkness, and I think I'm gonna start it by making everything black. So darkness, from Gregory the Overlander. One of the things that I can recall uh, when we look at the word darkness is when Gregor was. I mean, in the whole Underline Chronicles story, the, uh, when I think of darkness, I think of that time when Gregor was, uh, Gregor was, you know, uh, he was, like, sent into the, was it dungeon or something? When um, he defied Solovet, and Solovet, like, sent him to the, a uh, dungeon or a prison like an underland like a regalian prison and he has no light and he 
was stuck in darkness for a very long time, and he eventually learned echolocation on that prison of his. So yeah, that's I guess something that I think I'm gonna try and draw for this day, day one. Let's set the ink to white, and yeah. So, uh, I guess we're just gonna start. So yeah, Mr. Meme, don't worry about you know viewers or subscribers. Don't worry about me. I I really don't mind that much. Um, and it comes to like views and you know subscribers because uh, it'll come, I guess. And yeah, there are four concurrent viewers right now. Usually when I start, it's only two. But yeah, when I think of darkness and then Underland Chronicles, like I said, I think of that part when... Actually, there are multiple times. I mean, there's a part where there's that time when Gregor was imprisoned in darkness. And then, uh, what else? Come on, come on, think. There's also the... When they are in the... Was, was it... What was it called? That was that S-shaped thing. What was it called again? Hades Hall. When they were in Hades Hall, there was a bit. Of, there's like a bit about darkness there. Hmm, maybe, maybe I I think about it in opposite way. When it's dark and they can't rely so much with torch. Uh, what do they use for light? So the answer will be fireflies. So I guess what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna draw a firefly. That's what we're gonna do. Kind of like a sub, uh, an um, an opposite to uh, darkness is light, and the light thing that they can't use without torch are fireflies. So I guess I'm gonna be drawing some shiners today because. Uh, I haven't seen anyone draw shiners, so I guess I'll be the first. Or maybe someone else already did. But yeah, let's draw shiners. So yeah, let's draw shiners. So yeah, for those of you who just got here, um, I don't do gaming and stuff. I'm just doing some, uh, you know, artworks for uh, Underland Chronicles. So we are going to be drawing shiners for the day one prompt darkness, and it's going to be slightly animated. I mean, there's going to be the shiner in the middle, and then there's going to be like you know, you know firefly here, and it's it's like dark. And then when his, you know, when his butt like lights up, everything will like light up and uh, revealing the shiner, and then it turns off again. So that's kind of how the animation will go. So first, I'm gonna do some sketches here. So I'm gonna tab to delete that. I'm gonna go to draw again. I'm gonna go to a line here. Probably add a new sketch layer. And then yep, save this one as well. So I guess I'm going to save it as day one in the TUC week folder. So day one. Uh, yeah, just day one, I guess. I plan to draw something for each day of the Underland Chronicles fandom week. But I'm not sure if we'll be able to finish this uh, um, in one hour. So yeah, Mr. Meme, I, I actually forgot how this tablet cost. I think it's about uh, 5,000 pesos. That's in Philippine peso. Which should be about, uh, I don't know, more than, I don't know, what, $10 or something? I don't know. 10 to $20. But yeah, let's draw some shiners. And for those of you who doesn't know about shiners, uh, in The Underland Chronicles by Suzanne Collins, Shiners are fireflies. 
So I'm going to open up some references on fireflies here on Google, which I can't show you guys because there might be some cap copyright copyrighted uh, images there. So yeah. Fireflies played like a big role in book five of Yarnland Chronicles. Let's see. I guess I'm gonna risk it and just show you guys. Risk the So yeah, for we're looking for fireflies here. Just their general shape. And how they how their you know their butts or their back part here lights up. So I guess yeah, maybe I'll use that as a reference. And then let's see what we can do. How do they fly? Let's see here. I think I'm going to use this as a reference. It kind of looks nice. Or maybe this one, just because it shows the whole body and I just need that. I'm also going to be like animating the wings probably. So yeah, I guess I'm going to use that as a reference. I'm going to put that back in a different screen and let's start doing this thing because we don't have that much time. So I'm going to try to uh, be as entertaining as I can, but the, we're drawing, so I'm not sure. I've, I've, not, I've well, some of you guys like like the way I've. Well, I don't know. Anyways, let's just keep going. Uh, let's just draw here, and I am going to open that reference image, and I'm gonna um, you know just don't hesitate to ask questions below if you want to be clarified about stuff. I'm gonna try my best to answer them. So yeah, first we sketch. So I'm using a black background here and a white ink because you know it's darkness. And let's just sketch like the basic shape of the of the firefly here. So they have a pretty small head, considering that they eat a lot. So we might. Um, the fireflies in the underlying chronicles kind of have an, you know, they have a very funny attitude. And they're gluttons. They eat a lot. Not humans. They don't eat humans. They eat, like, human foods. They like eating human foods, like, you know, cake and some... And other things. Cake, any, any human food. That's kind of how humans pay them for their services in the Underland Chronicles by Suzanne Collins. If you haven't read that like series yet, just look it up on Google or something. So I wanted to draw something that faces the camera. So this is the head. I do wish I have a close up of the head here. They kind of look like shrimps, <laughs> fireflies, flying shrimps. <laughs> for for a for a bug that has a very small head, they 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 eat a lot, at least on on the Underland Chronicles. And yeah. Oopsie. Probably control Z too far there. Okay, I gotta go back to you guys. So Mr. Meme is inviting people who are probably not interested about the things that I'm doing. Uh, first of all, thank you for that. But uh, you know, you don't have to stay here if you guys are bored or anything. And if you want to stay, well, and you just entered the stream, what I'm doing here is I'm drawing an artwork for uh, what we Underland Chronicles fans call. Uh, the Underland Chronicles Fandom Week. It's a week where uh, Underland Chronicles fans like show their appreciation 
for uh, Underland Chronicles, uh, Suzanne Collins's uh, series of books before the Hunger Games, See, Underland Chronicles Fandom Week. And right now I'm drawing something from the prompt darkness for this day. And I've decided to draw a firefly because it's it kind of it's kind of what makes I mean the fireflies are what they use to fight darkness because fireflies have light. So I'm just going to go and see if I can manage to uh, draw a firefly here. Fireflies body are like like this and there's a solid shell behind them like that and then their wings will be flapping around this area they have a very weird little legs their legs are like closing like this and uh, their arms like that I'm just looking at the reference from Google here and I'm, I can't show it to you guys because it's probably copyrighted images. So I'm just doing some sketches right now. They have a huge black circle eye right here. And let me go back to the stream. And uh, let me their antennas are pretty 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 long or not so like that and like this for the antennas they have a pointy them their face kind of points like and they kind of have a pointy face which I can probably do like this. So there's a sketch of a firefly. Let me just rotate that right here. And I'm probably gonna do some like, I'm gonna modify this so that they're, they look big and different because they're, cause they're like, um, like a mutated version of fireflies. So I'm gonna, instead of doing their arms like that, I'm gonna put it down. And then their legs, yeah, their legs can probably stay like that. So I guess that's it for the sketch. So we are going to immediately go with the lines here. For AU, uh, John Hartman, for uh, for my alternate universe uh, entry, I don't I'm not, I actually have no idea. Yet. I mean, I have some plans for it. And one of it is Rip Red as a pirate. Because, yeah, he kind of reminds me of a He's like a pirate, I think. When I like think about Rip Red, I, he's kind of like I don't know. Pirate comes to mind, and I'm probably gonna make Rip like create a Rip Red or draw Rip Red as a pirate for AU. So yeah, right now for Darkness Day One, we're do we're drawing a Firefly, a Shiner, and it's going to be like a small animated loop where the Firefly is like hovering. And then, first it's dark, then hit, you know, the firefly's butt lights up, and then it, the firefly is revealed, and also the environment, and then it goes out again, and then we're back to the darkness. So that's why I've decided to draw a shiner. Although, shiners are not really the most likable creature in the Underland Chronicles. But they did. They did do something very big in the end, which I'm not going to be saying here, because that's a big spoiler. 
So yeah, we have the general shape of our shiner here. I'm going to reduce the sketch and I'm also going to make the world lighter here so we can kind of see our, excuse me. So I'm going to proceed to lines. And let's let's just draw this thing. Let's just draw a shiner. So in my reference, the shiner has like really round black eyes. I'm gonna increase the smoothness to this uh, 0.5. I'm probably gonna do this in a doodle style. I'm not gonna be like, if the lines are not that smooth, I won't try to fix it because we are trying to create an artwork in an hour. Maybe I'll do another another sketch. Cause... So, yeah, I'm gonna do another sketch. I want the Firefly's body to curve. So there's like, first part is right here around the head. And then the wing area. And then the bulb. And then the, the legs. Like that, I'm gonna modify my version of a firefly a bit. And then the arms should be like meeting each other in the end there. Kind of like asking, do you have a cake? And then another hand just, just waiting here so I think fireflies have six legs like cockroaches oops and then the head right here maybe maybe their head I'm gonna make their head kind of like ants and then antennas And yeah, as I said, if you guys aren't exactly interested with, you know, uh, drawing arts or creating an artwork in Blender or uh, Underland Chronicles, uh, you don't have to stay. I mean, I don't mind not having that much views anyway. I like it more when people are here because they're, they like to watch as opposed to just being forced to watch just to populate the, the stream. So you know, if you guys have other things you want to do, just just do it. You can't. You don't have to stay. It's fine with me having not that many views. But yeah, for those who are here because they want to see what I'm gonna do for Underline Chronicles Fandom Week, uh, don't hesitate to ask questions in the chat, so that we can, you know, I'm gonna try to keep answering them. And yeah, as I said. I'm currently working on uh, on my take on the prompt darkness. And right now I'm I'm drawing a shiner, which is something that not many fans is probably I mean not not all not, not many fans would like to draw a shiner probably. I mean, everybody, you've read the book. I mean, would you draw Shiner? <laughs> it's thanks to Underline Chronicles Fandom Week that I ended up drawing a Shiner, something that I, I never thought I'd ever do. So yeah, we have our sketch here. Let's start with the lines so that we can immediately finish this thing.
So I'm gonna go to lines. I'm gonna lock the sketch right there so I don't delete it. And then Yeah, shiners are you, you we we end up not liking shiners. <laughs> Despite them, you know, doing that thing at the final book. So yeah, let's using this reference, I'm gonna start doing some line works. So I'm gonna go to uh, an ink. And I'm gonna start doing some line works and then we'll see. Maybe I should maybe I should use a black ink for this. So I'm gonna I'm just gonna use this uh I'm probably gonna create a new material for this. Call this black. Yeah, I said stroke and everything else is fine. And it looks like it's below the sketch. I need to put that above the sketch. So I might have not copied properly like the right anatomy for a firefly. But I'm gonna go with this for now. And then their antenna uh, kind of looks like this. So I'm gonna try and just doodle this thing. Not gonna be too meticulous about it because I want I'm planning to finish this in an hour. And then just do that. So soon enough you'll see what I'm trying to accomplish here. really kind of look like shrimps so this is like a cartoon version of a firefly I'm gonna rest our fingers for a bit so I'm gonna separate their wings here because it's gonna be animated and to be honest I haven't animated a wing yet I mean, I haven't animated a wing before, but I kind of have an idea how I'm going to do it. So I'm just going to draw this right there, like so. And the body. Yeah, I think it's a good practice. Let's just see what we're going to end up doing by the end of the stream. Still, still quite a bit more time here. So I think we're good. The legs right here. Like so. This is a shiner asking for a cake. Why am I drawing a shiner? <laughs> and I also need to separate their butts here. Or whatever that area is called if you know butts is uncomfortable for some of you. <laughs> And there's the hard shell part. I'm actually going to separate that one too. Because that's going to be in the background. So there we go. We have the first. So I'm going to. I'm going to say. Uh, firefly. Or maybe just. Call this body. Make sure that it's. Line. Line. Body. Oh. That needs to be visible. Let me just expand this 
And there we go. So we have the body of the firefly. Next, I'm going to create a line for the butt area. Line, uh, I guess, bottom. Just to make it more family friendly, I guess. I don't know. But yeah. The whole like mindset why I decided to draw a firefly. Just in case there's a new viewer in there. Is because they're kind of, you know, makes... I mean, there's, there's, they're kind of the opposite of darkness. Because they emit light. So I need to make their butt. I actually need to draw the whole thing. Their bottom. Bottom. Remember that my that minion scene. So just drawing there. Lighting up. So yeah, that's their light right there. So I, I need to sep lock the body here. Cause uh yeah. I think we're good. And now I'm going to add another layer. Call this line wings. And this is going to be one of the animated parts of our firefly here. And I think for this we just we don't have to draw the wing. Because it's going to be like moving and stuff. It's gonna be lines and then the fill areas. So I'm gonna I'm gonna I'm gonna leave that for now. That won't have anything. I'm gonna lock this guys. So line last one dash uh wing cover which is that hard shell wing area that kind of covers up the like the vulnerable easy to shred wings so there we go we have our wings and now it's time to fill them up. So I'm going to disable the, I'm probably going to turn that on for now and then just lower the opacity. So it's not too, too uh, obstructing in the view there. So next I'm going to do some fill, fill underscore bot. I mean, not underscore dash body. And we're going to start doing some fills. And hopefully we will be able to finish this whole animation in just an hour. So I'm just really breezing through this. Now I have to go back to our reference here to look at the color of a firefly. So our first color would be... Let me just remove other materials, materials here that we don't need. And I guess I'm going to use the solid fill first. And maybe I'll use gradient linear. So I guess I'm going to start with this colors for now and just fill this area right here. Because the head and the body kind of share the same color, like this upper part of the body here. Like this part. And, uh,. I don't think it's working well. I'm gonna rotate. Oh, I think I can see it now. Let's rotate that to 90 degrees. Probably negative 90. So, not sure if I'm. I guess I kind of. I, I lost it now. I wanna. There we go. Okay, I'm seeing it again. I'm gonna go negative 90 again. And probably, yeah, there we go. Looks like I really have to do it 90 degrees. So that most of the red area here is at the top. And then it fades into a black color.
Let's see. It looks like it blends too much. There we go. There we go. Um, I think I'm gonna repeat that. Let me just lock the wing line layer here. Make sure that the fill body is the only thing visible. And then let's fill that thing up again. Up to right here. So yeah, that's kind of what the color of the firefly is. Let me just adjust uh, adjust it again. And then rotate it again. And there we go. Firefly. Shrimp. And I think for the legs, I'm going to be using... I should have separated the legs too. But I guess it's fine. That's just for like added details. And I really don't want to add too much to it. So the legs would be like a lighter orange. Lighter orange. So I'm going to add another fill here. Just name it legs. And then I'm just really going to breeze through this. So I guess this, this light is enough and I'm, I gotta make sure that I'm still in fill buddy and for some reason actually we need to put fill buddy on top of I mean below line body here and on top of everything else so that it covers up like if I turn it off it covers up these lines here so yeah let's keep going here I'm going to add a fill on the arms, I mean the legs. Just just doing that, I guess. And that. This one here as well. All of the arms. So, yeah, an idea that just suddenly popped up. So 30 minutes ago, we didn't have a plan and now I ended up drawing a firefly. A shiner. Howard is not going to like this. Only Underland Chronicle fans will know the reference. So yeah, let me just do that, and we're done with the legs. Now for the eyes. The eyes will be black. Black fill. And then I'm just going to check that, check fill, and we're good to go. Just going to use, just going to color that all black. And looks like I forgot the antennas. Antennas. So for the antenna, uh, the antenna seems. I guess. I guess that's fine. I'm gonna color the antenna. Fill body, and then I'm gonna use the leg color for the antennas. Yeah, I guess it's fine to use it. Or, or maybe the, the solid fill here. Let's see. Let's see. Yeah, I'm just going to use the solid fill. The same material I'll use for the body. I just want to see what's, what the effect is. So I guess that looks nice. Yeah, that looks nice. I guess that's a keeper. 
So I'm not going to be so careful here. I might spill. I'm definitely going to spill. And there are even parts that's not included, so I guess... It should be easy to edit that using... And looks like Blender's... There we go. I thought Blender froze there for a second. And then I'm going to go to connected only. Make sure everything else is locked. And let me just fix these parts here that are not filled up. And then uh, bring back some that are uh, that spilled. So yeah, far flies. Because they counter darkness. I was gonna draw Gregor on the cage, discovering echolocation. Or that time when he ran from the rats. But nope, we're drawing fireflies today. <laughs> so yeah, uh, fix the spills here. And there. And those guys up there. And I guess we're fine there. I don't mind having a, a spill here and there. So next, we are going to fill up, um, I guess, the bottom part. So I'm going to add another fill layer here. Call it fill-bottom. And then I'm going to get... Um, solid fill new layer uh, I guess bottom and then fill and I'm just gonna get a bright light here but when they're you know bottom don't light up what will be the color I think it's yellow yellow-ish Kind of like, kind of like that color, and I'm probably gonna also make this a gradient color. Um, the other color would be black. And let's see how that looks. So we're at day one of Underland Chronicles Fandom Week. I probably started earlier than the others because I live in a different time zone. But it doesn't matter. I guess. I don't know. So let me just fix the spill there. We'll make sure I lock the fill body there. And let's see, let's set up our gradient because it's currently not visible. 90 degrees. Reduce the blend and then let me just, let me try and move. Move this. Okay, there we go. That's more visible. Maybe 90 degrees is a bad idea. And maybe this shouldn't be black. It should like. And that should be. Yeah, we have a nice like a blend of our of the. Oh wait! Oh no! Looks like I lost it. Let's kind of move that a bit more. So I think, yeah, we're good there. I guess the last thing I will need to do is how to light up that area there. I'll make that a problem later, I guess. And then I guess the last thing I need to fill up is the wing cover. So I'm just going to add a new layer here. Fill 
dash uh, wing cover and I apologize to any Howard fans there for drawing a shiner I guess you might be sharing the same kind of hatred to the shiners <laughs> hey J Studio PH welcome so I'm gonna be using a uh, the next I'm um, the solid fill like the body color here for the wings yeah I guess I think that looks nice using gradient looks nice I guess well I think it looks nice don't know what you guys think so yeah hopefully we have time to like slightly animate this I think we do So I'm just moving around the fill so there's no spill. And there we go, we have our Farfly. Now let's deal with the wings. I think for the wings, this is what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna go fill dash wing wings. I'm gonna lock the other layer so I don't accidentally delete them or anything and I'm gonna add a new material call it wings and set it to a grayish color like gray or maybe yellowish color make this gradient as well so yeah this is the first time by the way like ever using the gradient style here for the fill And uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna use alpha, so that's gray to alpha or zero alpha. And then I'm just gonna do something like this. Just do that. The other one as well. And we're gonna be fixing that that gradient right now. Probably position it something like this and rotate it. I'm glad that it works like that though too, because we can. There we go. That's the wing. And then I'm gonna go to the line, lock the fill there, and go back and pick the. Uh, solid stroke material which shouldn't be white I need to go back to black and uh, the one the only thing animated here are these lines to simulate to simulate motion This is just an experiment, by the way. I don't. I have. Re I really have no idea how to animate wings in two D. But let's see what we can do here. So there we go. This is the first thing we're gonna tag tackle to for this animation. And this is how I, I imagine it animated. So we have our solid stroke here, line wings. I'm gonna uh, turn on the onion skinning there. And let's try and animate the wings. So for some reason, it's not showing up in here. We need to select the far fly first. And wing, uh, line wings right here. And this is how I'm gonna animate it. So that's frame one. And then I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna do this. I'm gonna 
draw that draw four this time right here and then this one draw this again just to kind of see I'm gonna draw in between this guys right here so that needs to move fast I also need I actually also need to add a something like this probably and probably move this higher move that as well draw the between parts right there So I need to uh, set playback to AV sync. And let's draw another, another frame right here. So I'm, I'm really not sure how to animate this wings. And then do that. I'm gonna do this and then uh, like that and maybe maybe I'm gonna be I'm gonna do the lazy way here and just copy paste some some frames here this is not gonna look good Oh boy. Let me just let me I'm 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 really not oh wait it kinda it kinda looks like Wait. This is not how you animate wings guys. I'm just really experimenting here at but as you can see it kinda shows it's 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 I I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I'm just gonna keep doing that until we fill up all of the frames probably I need to decide how long this thing is too so let's see let's see how that wing huh one thing I'm gonna fix about this would be we already copy pasted a lot of frames too so this is gonna be a problem yep I'm going to delete I'm gonna I'm gonna control Z control Z until we get our initial because I'm going to remove this guys out here and maybe that will that will fix it control L control L selecting everything so I'm just selecting one kind of point in the grease pencil line there and just pressing ctrl l to select all of them and then deleting them to get rid of it another thing that i probably need to remove is this outer guys right here yeah i think my sister's trying to open the door <laughs> and buddy those are the doorknobs i'm ignoring her for now I'm gonna, I'm gonna compensate later by playing with her later. But for now, I just I need to finish this thing. So, I think I think this will work. I don't think that works there. Okay, I, I, actually, I, I'm, I'm gonna do that again because I kind of have an idea what I'm, what needs to be done here. I'm gonna start with uh, one line, one line right here. 
and probably like three frames of this line kind of moving like moving down Or maybe just two frames. No, it's fine, I guess. And then I have to have a small line right here. A smaller line. And that needs to be consistent throughout the animation. So I did not study 2D animation. Oh, wait. And there's going to be a new line coming up here uh, I don't think that works so I guess just one very small line right here another big line right here or longer line I'm just doing that a small line right here and then like so small line right there oh I'm not sure if this is gonna work man okay I think uh, let's do this again I think I have I think we got this. This time we got this. It's already 57 minutes. Oh boy. We still need to set up some lights. I think it's supposed to be like this. It doesn't stick to the body. And I can just randomize these lines to kind of simulate movement. So I can just draw whatever I want here. Maybe in between those. And then that one. And then Yumi Bliss, can you wait for a while? <laughs> we'll just play later, please. Just because the sign failed doesn't mean you can't knock the door. <laughs> I have a sign on my door saying do not disturb. And she said it fell. So that's why she's disturbing me. <laughs> because it fell. <laughs> <laughs> Just wait. You little rascal. Anyways, let's keep going. So, yeah. Let's... Just finish the wing here. Whatever it is I get here, I'm, I'm gonna stick with it. Or not, because it doesn't look great. Maybe maybe two frames. Let's, let's, let's try this. Yeah, this two frames works well. Then adding too many frames there. Yeah. I guess I'll stick with that. Okay, since we only need two frames, I'm going to do this again, and this is going to be the final one. But for this one, I'm going to be drawing it way further. On the... <laughs> so yeah, uh, let's just finish this wing area here, like so, no, 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 so yeah, like I said, I may not be able to do all of the prompts. And I might not be able to be finished here. Gonna also add some motion lines here. And 
and I should have really prepared for this before doing this thing. Oh well. The idea is to do like doodles. Like a, this is like a doodle animation. And see what we can like make by just winging it. So maybe I can use these motion lines to kind of simulate the wing going up and down fast. So it's going to be, wait a minute. Like this, I'm just going to copy paste the frames here. Oops. And let's see how it looks. Yep, definitely. Yeah, that does. That's that does it. That does it. Now let's just keep going so that we have all of the videos here. I mean all of this parts here animated. So yeah, look at that guys. We managed to do it. Despite you know tell you what instead of like having to do that maybe I can control tab this maybe I can add a mo uh, maybe there's a way to do this so that it loops I think I can do it in the modifier I think time offset will do it yeah yeah time offset and then I'm gonna select wings and then I'm gonna I'm gonna set that to loop or uh, no didn't work so retiming end frames and move to start of animation to keep loop oh okay I, I, I understand this now so I need to pick uh, 64 frame 64 and that should do the trick or not okay then maybe not custom range then Hmm. I'm gonna try this because I want to figure this out so I don't you don't so you don't like destroy your don't add too many keyframes there I want to figure out this custom frame uh, frame offset number of frames to offset original keyframe number or frame to fix it probably zero Frame scale, evaluation time in seconds. Hmm. Hmm. Point zero zero one. So yeah, this is a layer pass index. I guess we're not using a loop although I really wanted to uh, fixed frame no nope. uh, reverse regular Retiming end frames and move to start of animation to keep loop. Fill. Oh, I, I think I know what I'm gonna. It should be line wings, and I think that that will do it. Or not. Okay, this is taking so much time. It's already one hour, and I still need to set up. Yeah, maybe we can do overtime. I do hope you guys don't mind going over time here so there's no number of frames to offset original keyframe probably zero and then line wings I did choose line wings here custom range two and there we go there we go finally 
So it needs to be custom ranged. So yeah, these are the settings. So there we go. As you can see, we have a flying firefly. And it looks really nice. It actually ended up the way I kind of imagined it. One other thing we can do is to like give it like a hovering motion here. And I'm going to the dope sheet for this. I'm going to add eye location. And then I'm going to Let me just, I'm, I'm going to fix the composition later. But yeah, we have a location here. I'm going to control tab. I'm going to pick X location. I'm going to add a noise modifier. And that will, you'll see what it does. You see, it kind of adds like a, this noise in the motion, in the location of the X location. I'm going to add the scale so it's not that fast. So he, he just, he's just, the, the firefly is just hovering there and I'm not going to make it too powerful. Or to you know the strength. This is this like the scale, the strength. Probably even increase the scale more. And probably increase the strength by 0.5. And that should kinda give it a hovering motion. I'm also gonna copy paste that. So I'm just using this uh, copy the modifier. I'm gonna put it on the Y location as well. Yeah, I guess Y location as well, and I'm gonna offset it to about a hundred frames. Also gonna paste that in Z location and offset it 200. So that kind of that should that should give it like a hovering motion, as you can see right here. Then the next thing we need to do is the lighting. Let me just let me turn that on. I'm gonna set the world to black again because it's dark. And then in the grease pencil, I'm going to turn off the sketches so we don't see it. And I probably need to, uh, I probably need to apply a different, no, I guess this is fine. So yeah, I'm going to put the cursor right on the, um, let me just go turn on 3D cursor here because I'm going to be adding a light right around here to light it up. So I'm going to shift A and I add a point lamp, which I'm going to put on the camera collection here. I'm going to switch to rendered again, and I'm just going to increase the size of this probably. Probably put it right there make it yellow and then increase the uh, power and that should light up our uh, I'm also gonna enable bloom so we have our animation here That should be parented to the, I mean the light should be parented to the, to the firefly. So control P, object, and the light will now be following that firefly here. What I want to do though, because right now doesn't look great, I'm gonna add a background to it. Shift S cursor to war, world origin. I'm gonna add a plane. Plane. R X nine zero. I'm gonna G Z move it to the Y axis and then make that bigger. So that we can see the firefly. And I'm gonna add a material to this background so that it looks like a cave wall. So let's do that. Um we go I'm going to add a new shading workspace here. Add a new material, wall, and let's just really breeze through this. I'm gonna add a noise texture here. I'm gonna add a color amp, factor, color. Probably 
probably increase yeah, details should be 10 for the noise modifier let's make this brownish I'm gonna go back to this color brownish there this one also brown and then I'm gonna apply this this factor as a bump map I'm gonna go vector bump set that to the height and connect normal to normal and that should have an interesting effect and I hope it doesn't kill our laptop here but yes you can see that looks nice and to finish our animation here I'm just gonna add I'm just gonna animate the strength of this because lights up right here so I'm gonna stick to the 200 I and then zero I also need to figure out how to like fade the like the color and then the light fades out again right here so let's worry about the light for now and worry about the farfly later so he lights up and then lights out and that's kind of what the loop is just gonna be it's like darkness light darkness So let's end everything at frame 100. Just a very quick looping animation of a firefly. So now I think what we can do to like, let's see what kind of effect I can add for this guy right here. Glow, let's see glow. Uh, glow color. Also, I want to select color. I want to get the color of the of the let's see uh, of, I want to get this color right here. I'm going to copy this and then I'm going to go back to the modifier here. I mean the effect of the wing here. I'm going to paste that color and um, not working glow under huh not not working guys i uh, never mind maybe maybe rim will do do it yeah so uh, Nah, rim is kind of ruining it. Oh well, oh well. I'm sticking with this. Or maybe, 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 maybe we'll give it a chance. I don't know. I don't know, man. Maybe, maybe that works. And maybe make that five or ten samples, so it's not too awful looking. And maybe blur it as well. Maybe about a hundred, uh, two hundred blur, two hundred blur, two hundred, and there we go. That looks nice. And and what we can do here, I guess, is to animate the opacity. I'm gonna see if I can do that. Actually, I'm gonna go to, yeah, I guess, dope sheet. Go to the layers here, and I'm gonna animate the opacity of everything here. But there's gotta be a way to do this quickly oh there there we have it yes nice so we can now yeah do that uniform opacity um hardness i don't think that works though Stroke in the film influence filters. Okay, this is hmm because that happens when I do it like this. Uh, 
Well, this is a bit difficult than I thought it would. Colorize, I guess. Yes. Maybe colorize will do this. Will do the trick. Um, custom. Yeah, colorize. Colorize is what we want. Because I just want to... Yeah. Yeah, let's do it. Let's try that. I'm going to grab the point lamp and copy like the keyframe here. So at this point, Firefly is like very visible and then I'm gonna colorize it to black when it's dark let's see how that looks that work that looks nice so yeah I think we're gonna be able to finish this animation so I'm gonna add another keyframe on the factor there go to the end frame and set that to one add a keyframe and we are good this is it we have finished a quick animated loop using Blender for our day one of Underland, Chron Underland Chronicles Fandom Week. I think that's a very nice achievement right there. We have a finished animation in only 1 hour and 16 minutes. And that's starting from like thinking up the idea up to this final thing. And one last thing I want to add, of course, is to... I'm going to go back to material here. One last thing I want to add. Uh, I. I'm just going to call this I. And I'm, I need to add uh, quickly add a new white material, white fill material. Or not, maybe not white, uh, maybe uh, yellowish for the eyes. So do that, do this. I'm gonna go back to solid view for now. And just one last, one final touch guys. And then we're gonna end the stream. So one final touch, I'm, I need to select the eye layer here. And for the final touch, we are going to, I did not select why, what's happening here. Okay, I did not check the fill. And uh, there's still nothing. Oh boy, come on. Come on, what's happening? What What did I do wrong? What did I do wrong? I need to go to effect probably. So I'm selecting I here. I have set it to draw and it's a fill layer so what why is this not working okay that's weird that's weird I'm in draw mode. I'm selecting stroke. Selected the eye layer. It works right here, but it doesn't work right here on the eye. Huh. Huh. That's because it's at the bottom. Oh boy. There we go. There we go. Okay, one final touch, guys. One final touch and then we're calling it a day. I'm gonna set the opacity. I'm gonna set this to add and then opacity. Probably not add. Maybe normal. Maybe maybe regular will work for this. Just do that. And that should do it. Object mode rendered. And we have a finished product. I need to turn on turn back on the effect colorize and we have a finished animation day one of the underland chronicles fandom week we created a shiner because you know darkness light darkness oh yeah i guess that's all 
uh, you're hearing doorknobs again. And yeah, thanks to the guys who stayed and watched. This is my entry for day one of Underline Chronicles Fandom Week. I'm gonna be sharing this on Tumblr soon and everywhere. You'll see it everywhere soon. Everywhere, Doodle Notes Productions. So if you haven't yet, you know, follow, you know, just search for Doodle Notes Productions everywhere. I have a, uh, a YouTube channel, Facebook page, Twitter, Tumblr, and also an Instagram account. I'm gonna be posting it on all of those. Probably not YouTube, but most of those guys. And yeah, thanks for watching. Um, this is day one, tomorrow, day two. And we'll see what we're gonna end up doing. And yeah, thank you to my uh, Kofi givers, you know, Magnolia Weather Shield, Eric Madrigal, Elizabeth Mooney, Tristan Wintel, Ambody, and Guillermo Gage. Thank you so much for the support. If you wanna support me like this, guys, go to coal-v.com slash doodlenose productions. And yeah, thank you everyone who are here. Thanks for watching. Uh, my name is MJ Vilchaz, and yeah. I'm actually gonna go and um, refine some shots for episode one after this. Also render that animation. So yeah, bye.